hello everyone welcome back to our channel today i have a new interviewee and that is sitora <laughs> we're going to be talking about our life here in school university we have already graduated but yes. we are fresh graduates yes. in simple terms yes. so please listen um try and see and just try to get something you can learn from what she's going to say She's mainly going to be talking about her experiences here and what she's learned basically from this university. Stay tuned. Uh huh. <laughs> That's my story. <laughs> so let's start. What's your name? Hello. My name is Sitora. I'm from Uzbekistan and I'm a fresh graduate. Uh, I studied social and international studies. Um, the reason I chose this was because my high school, um, I studied economics and here also I came to study economics. But then, while studying at the university, you learn new things and you open new things in yourself. Mm. And then uh, I changed my major from economics to sociology. Oh, and wow. Yes. And now sociology is more interesting than economics. Yes, I found sociology more interesting and my focus in sociology was uh, in education. Mm. So that's how things can change in life. Oh wow, that's amazing. So sorry to the economists. Bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> so why did you choose to come to Japan? Um, uh, it wasn't actually a love for anime, manga or something related to Japan. It mm. wasn't like that at all. Mm. A family friend started here mm. and he recommended me uh, Japan uh, as a safe place for a girl to mm. be. Mm. And it's mm. indeed very safe. Exactly. You can go at night mm. uh, anywhere and you will be safe. Wow, I love that the most about Japan. Exactly. Why did you choose Tsuko University? There are so many universities in Japan. Yes, uh, Tsuko University is considered one of the top universities in Japan. Mm -hmm. And Tsuko University has connection with Uzbekistan. After graduating this university, mm. I have I have a chance to work uh, in my country as well. Mm. So that was the reason uh, I chose this university. No, that's the, that was the major reason. Yes. Okay, amazing. Question number four. How was your experience in Tsukuba University or your life in Tsukuba? Uh, it was so... I cannot describe it in, in one sentence because mm. so many things happened during my four years here. Mm. Tsukuba is a place where I was born again. Mm. It's like when a child starts to learn walking again. Mm. You need to take responsibility for yourself, mm. for everything starting from bills, mm. <laughs> paying bills. <laughs> Feeling all the documents and stuff, your parents mm. are not with you anymore. Mm. I and feel you. So, so you grow here. Mm. So you've place. grown so yes. much. Yes, in terms of personal growth, there's, mm. there's been a lot of growth. Mm. That's amazing. Yes, it is. <laughs> uh, what do you like most about Tsukuba University? The one thing you like most about Tsukuba University? There are so many things that I like about Tsukuba Just to mention one. University. But one is that it's very diverse in terms of students. Mm. There are students from so many different countries that mm. you literally travel the world without physically going to those countries. Exactly! You learn so many things and it's incredibly cool. Yeah. What was um, okay? The next question: Do you have Japanese friends? I do. What was your first impression about Japanese students or your friends? Uh, they are very shy mm -hmm. at the beginning, mm. but once you uh, get close to them, once mm. your friendship get friendship gets uh, stronger, mm. you realize. Mm, once your friendship gets stronger, you realize how Japanese people are very open, mm. very funny, mm. very easygoing, helping and uh, supporting. Mm. So, yeah. But your first impression was that they are shy. They're, yes, they're a little bit shy and uh, yeah, they don't openly mm. tell their opinions. Mm, their feelings. Their feelings, they don't show their feelings, yes. Mm. But once you get closer, 
you open another world, I guess. Oh wow, that's amazing. Yeah. You've you've you said that there is a high level of diversity in this university. Yes. What is your perception about other international students or other foreigners who are like you? Uh, you know, when you meet them, mm. or what have you what have realized about them? What have you noticed about foreign, foreign students? They're so ambitious. Wow. Yes, they're very ambitious, and one of them is you. Don't <laughs> mention <laughs> it. Uh-huh. <laughs> very ambitious, very hardworking. Mm. Very, they have very interesting personalities. Mm. Everyone uh, has their own uh, story of their life. Very mm. interesting story of their life. Mm. And uh, uh, they come here to study hard, but at the same time, they're very funny. Mm. So they know how to study mm. and to have fun have at the fun. same time. That's amazing. Oh, international students, you are so lucky. Everyone is saying that you're so ambitious. Oh, wow. <laughs> Good things for you guys. Do you think universities should accept more international students? Uh, Japanese universities? I think uh, the focus should be on quality, not quantity. Mm. But at the same time, uh, the more students means more diversity, mm. which is which equals to more opportunities to uh, broaden your horizon mm. for every member of this mm. university. Mm. So it's very hard to say. Mm. So, but basically, I think like uh, every university should focus more on quality mm. rather than quantity. That's perfect. Yes. Last thing. What's that one thing? Staying and studying from here has taught you that one thing for the past four years as a fresh graduate. It's always so hard to choose one thing because like four years of your life you've been here mm. and so many things happened. Mm. One thing that this university taught me. Mm. Uh, being among so many different people mm. being exposed to so many different cultures mm. you learn to stay uh, open-minded perfect and that's very valuable uh, skill mm. is it skill or is it trade mm. whatever it can you, be a good it, skill mm. yeah whatever you call it mm. it's really useful mm. uh, it helps you it's very useful in any kind of relationship mm. when you stay open-minded, when mm. you're tolerant, when you're mm. accepting. So that's what I'm really thankful for to this university. That's amazing. One last thing. Yes. Is there anything you've learned during your course that you can transfer or you can apply in your society in Uzbekistan? There are so many things. Mm. As I said, like four years is not a short term, especially like uh, these uh, very important years. Mm. The things that I have learned to apply is that uh, in Japan you learn how to give high quality service. Mm. Mm. And it's about Japan. And if we talk about universities that mm. I learned from university, as I said, mm. you meet different kind of people. Mm. And from each person, you learn something new mm. from their country. Mm. And um, if we're talking about Japanese mm. students, uh, you learn to be humble. Mm. So when yeah. you go back to Uzbekistan, yeah. you're going to be humble. Yeah, I guess. Uh, since my focus of studies was education, mm. I, uh, I visited I visited several high schools elementary schools I work with kids with Japanese kids mm. and what I learned in the education system is that they're really good team uh, players mm. uh, the very simple example is how they prepare their lunch mm. uh, every student they know their role mm -hmm. and everyone like they prepare their lunch themselves mm. uh, the students themselves they serve it, they eat it, and then they cook, they clean it, the dishes. Mm. 
They do everything by themselves. Mm. And when you see that setting, how they do that, it's so organized. It's mm. really organized. Mm. And they're really good team players. Mm. And that's what I really uh, would like to spread, mm. uh, that skill that uh, Japanese students have. They that's learn. excellent. Thank you. Thank I you. also I also want to apply the same thing seriously. You know, my passion is to promote education for underprivileged children. So I really want to visit those schools and see how I can try to just teach them and show the advantages of doing these things with kids together. Not letting other people do things for them, but getting them involved mm. to do those things. Yes. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. Thank you. Thank you so much, Tanasan. Thank you. I love you. <laughs>